I'm Pastor George Borkhardt, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Joy that no one can take away. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. If you love our videos, if you love what we're doing in Higher Things, passing the faith to the next generation, like our videos, subscribe to our channel, ring the bell for notifications. Do you hear something? And donate. Your tax deductible gift keeps higher things a youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation. Keeps us a rolling. Today's Sunday's gospel lesson for Jubilate Sunday. Oh, it's a happy Sunday. Gives us a little look into the preparation for our Lord's death and resurrection. Um, let's take a look at it, shall we? A little while and you will see me no longer, and again in a little while and you will see me. He says that to them. In a little while, you will see me no longer. In a little while, I will suffer and die for you. And again in a little while, you will see me. So some of his disciples said to one another, what is this that he's talking about? A little while you will see me no longer. And again, a little while and you will see me. And also because I go to the father. So they were saying, what does he mean by a little while? We don't know what he's talking about. Uh, and Jesus knew, knowing that they wanted to ask him. So he said... Is this what you are asking yourselves, what I meant by saying a little while you will see me, and again a little while you will, uh, you will not see me, and again a little while you will see me. Amen, amen, I say to you, you will weep and lament, but the world, the universe, will rejoice. You will be sorrowful, but your sorrow will be turned to joy. When a woman gives birth, she has sorrow because of her hour has come. But when she has delivered the baby, she no longer remembers the anguish for the joy of a man or a, a, a man being born into the world. An anthropos is a man. So you will have sorrow, Lupe, now, but I will see you again and your hearts will rejoice and no one, no one will take your joy for me, from you. So, um... This is, an, this is a text that you can get confused because of the, the exchange and how it's written in a very sort of Hebrew way. They, the repetition of a little while you will not see me and in a little while you will see me. We first got that out of the way. A little while he's going to be crucified. And for three days they will not see him. The world will rejoice and celebrate. I do not know what's going on in the back. Of he's playing. Um... They, the world will rejoice. They will celebrate. The disciples will be sorrowful. But again, they will see him and no one will take their joy from them. And the Lord uses the example of a, a mother and a baby. Um, the mother ex experiences lots of pain. Nice catch, buddy. Lots of pain. But after the baby, after she holds that baby in her arms, she doesn't remember the pain. She probably remembers the pain, but he, you know what he means. What he means is the pain and the sadness is nothing compared to the baby. Okay? The same with the death of Christ. As bad as and sad as they were that he died, they're joyful at his resurrection. In fact, their joy after seeing him again is joy that no one can take from them. That's what this text means. For us who have never seen him, we are sad that we don't see him. But when we see him on the last day, or our last day, we will have joy that no one may take away. Ooh, it was so close. That's the joy of Jubilate Sunday a joy which no one can take away, 
a joy which begins and ends not with you deciding to be happy, but begins and ends with the suffering and death of Jesus. A joy centered on the resurrection of Christ. We're still in Easter. A joy which not even a pandemic can rob us of. A joy centered upon Jesus. So, this is, the, this is the same with our funerals too. A little, the people we love, we will see no longer for a while. But we will be reunited with them on the last day and no one will steal our joy from us, from us then. Um, this is the way of the, the Christian faith. Sorrow and joy. Sorrow as the world rejoices in what they believe is victory. Our rejoicing in Christ's victory that no one can take away. I'm Pastor George Borkhart, Emma Best Buddy Thor, and this has been another Higher Things video short.